I'm here today, doctor, because 2008, my body mean good. I'll tell you, size two. Now, coming to the 10th year, then you tell me I'll put an extra large panty. I'm here because my love for carnival and music. To some extent, I believe it might be a problem. I don't really think I have a problem, but they say I am overzealous. I am too particular. I put too much emphasis on costumes and preparation for mass and they, they think I need to take it a notch down. I don't agree with that. I've been involved in carnival ever since I can remember myself. Ever since I've been five years old in some which way, shape or form. I've been around mass, been around music. Whether it's participating actively in carnival or helping to build costumes or learning how to put costumes together. And uh, I believe that if I go one year without being involved in carnival, I'd go crazy. And that, I believe, is a problem. So me try for, you know, start out the body, go gym. So me go gym. Then on the fourth day, like, me hungry. You know, my son eat pizza. Me want to eat pizza too. Can't eat this rabbit food every day. It don't make no sense, you know? The first year Mist came out, I remember this as if it was yesterday because it pains me. I was standing at, on Queen Elizabeth Highway with the group that I was playing with at the time. And everything seemed to have been going wrong with that particular group that year. And um, I didn't hear anything about a new band coming out. So we were standing there looking at this, looking at these big flags coming over, just emerging over. I remember that year they were wearing these zebra print cowboy hats and it's just, just not something. And Monday, it was Monday. Monday wear. Never saw that before. They came over in these tiny shorts and these little tops and these cowboy hats. The music was going, the drinks were obviously flowing because my cup was empty and one of their mass players, you know, helped, helped her sister out. And I looked at that band and I said, that's my new home. I, I think that it's expected as a mass player to, you know, connect with your costume. That's why I need to visit the mass camp at least four times before I can make a decision. I have to come in the first time, look at the color scheme. Food, it just, it just damn, I just um, love to eat. I love to eat, doc. Come in the second time, imagine myself in the costume. I just you know how if I just cut it out for the few months so I can, you know, look good in my costume. Come in the third time, see if the blings go with my skin tone. I just love for you, I'm the doctor, I love for you. And then come in the fourth time and finally make a down payment. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but apparently some people have issues with it. I'm here to talk about how these new generation has come into the mist family and think they know it better than me. I'm a crew and we've been running things for 10 years. It's serious business. We are the veterans of the game. We know, we know doc, we know how to do it. We've always done it. You know, um, they think they can come in a band and drink all of that premium stuff. And some of them can't even make it to choose their property limping. Carnival Monday, I just get Crazy, crazy. Don't remember anything. The worst part about it is 
you just usually want to wash your pants the night before because you have to wear them again the next day. But me just, I just happen to wake up around 3 o'clock in the morning. Me not have no time to wash them pants, you know, and I have my, all this alcohol, smell like a vodka bottle of walk down Market Street, you know. The thing is kind of rough, but it's not exactly the best memory, but you asked, so I'll tell you all gone. Right. When I think about mist, I think about like greatness, the closest to like the perfect mass experience that you can experience is with mist. There's a mist experience that I just, that just, yeah, it had me addicted, you know? Like Hennessy. So I just keep on coming back. I just, yeah, I can't stop. I, I don't want nobody to tell me on Wednesday what happened. Boy, you know what happened on Monday? I was there. Miss Bossy, get ready for the rain. Miss Bossy, get ready for the rain. I love to see Miss Bossy hold them wine and get on back. We party harder, but this year we can party oh, back. Sing yeah. that and show me where you're from, just represent the flag. We raving, kicking up a song, Miss Bossy, get on back. I say we raving, put up your hand, keep waving. Miss Bossy, Miss Behaving, just keep the fire blazing. He blazing, we raving, put up your hand, keep waving. Miss Bossy, Miss Behaving, just keep the fire blazing. He blazing. City girl, them walking up and rocking down the place. I hold that for the sexy one and start to show some wings. All the mistakes have been for no time to do no crime. Enjoy the life and give a high five I say we raving Put up your hand, keep waving Miss Fassie, Miss Behaving Just keep the fire blazing He blazing We raving Put up your hand, keep waving Miss Fassie, Miss Behaving Just keep the fire blazing He blazing on the road Winding with a blow Everything at home Nobody can tell me nothing When we in the flat Don't tell me something wet I'm still out of breath And you mark a set, a set, a set, a set Miss Fassie today doc because I have a series of problems because I live every day as if it's carnival when Monday and Tuesday comes I can't be the norm my friends think that I have a problem because I like being on the truck but I mean I'm a princess and I need my own stage and when I'm on the truck I feel like it is my stage and I'm at the front of the band where I you know rightfully should be I need to be up in front. I need to be the it person in front. I just need to be that person. I don't think it's a problem, but. I, I need to have the biggest costume on the road. I, I need to have a lot of feathers. It seems I'm known for being particular. Um, my, my back piece just needs to be really big and elaborate. Apparently I'm the particular one. Uh, my costume usually is a little bit more elaborate than the, um, the front line. Whose costume has to look a particular way. I need to have the hottest body piece, monokini, two piece. I don't really care what it is anymore. It just needs to be banging. And fit a particular way. More feathers, more beads. And of course have the wine ability factor. You know, the biggest costume on the road. Miss me alone, show me money, go be paid, miss me alone. Give me this and go be paid, miss me alone. The music better keep me, miss me alone. Those beautiful costumes when the sun hit it, the ladies with their beads and their fine bodies. Miss me alone, show me money, go be paid, miss me alone. Right now, as we speak, they're probably running around the stadium getting in shape just for Miss Carnival, for Miss Ted. I want to fit in the costume, I want to look good. Yeah, I don't want to say I'm jinx, but just before carnival comes, it's like something happens every time. Every year, I go up on this, you know, lime and water thing and, you know, everything good. But the last few travels, I do, just open my eyes to some nice food. Remember that year, that epic year that those mass players got three days to play mass? So I got to basically wear my costume twice. <laughs> In rain, jump up, 
enjoy themselves. And I mean, who doesn't love that? What girl wouldn't enjoy getting to wear the costume that she took so much time and effort to pick out just for her body twice? I broke my foot that year. As a matter of fact, I remember one carnival on Pope's Head Street. Somebody had an inflatable pool. Me come up the road and see the boss I fill up a little jacuzzi in the middle of the road. I said, I can't believe it. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. So I started looking around. Boy, can't jump into that jacuzzi there with my cell phone, you know what I mean? So I mean, started looking around and find somebody trustworthy. Them time, you look over and you see the Pope, John White, on the side of the road, do something. He just looked innocent at the time. So I said, yo, John, hold my phone, daddy. So I just give him my phone, right? And I, I was splash. Must about two feet of water that almost broke my neck or something. <laughs> Jump out of the pool and just continue to jam. I swear to God, I didn't even go back to John for my phone. They got three days of mass and I broke my foot. People tell me that my knees will give out and I'm still waiting. They won't give out. You know, I think I may be able to do this for another 30 years. Then the next year I was back in business, found out I'm pregnant. Like I'm really stressed out. I can't do much. I feel like I'm limiting myself. I am an addict. I am a missed addict and I admit it. I'm addicted. I'm going to be the envy of everyone on the road. Oh, my God. You know, I, I still don't know why my friends think I have a problem, you know. I, I think they're the ones with the problem. <sighs> There's this thing frustrate me, like, big time. Imagine going to the launch and seeing all these girls, you know. There's nice body. I don't like to have too much on. Um, I know many might say that a costume isn't much to begin with, but I mean, I, I like to push those borders. These Miss Costumes, they were never really that big now, but after the years, you know, they start getting smaller and smaller. And I was asking Miss, I said, wait, who's designing these costumes? They said, we give them the costumes of the normal size. Is the girls altering them? I said, that's how Miss make them feel. They just cut off with some done reach cross here yeah, and cut cross here. Yeah. Then girl want them cut cross down so uh, okay. I just want to add, Mr. Smart Yard. Even when Miss gives me Monday wear, I still need to stand out. So I always wear my own thing and not what they give to me. And my friends are like, but Perez, you're supposed to wear this. This is what they want you to wear. You need to look uniform. And I'm like, I don't need to look uniformed. I need to stand out. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Definitely not that. Don't get me wrong. It was uh, 2014. I was coming up Market Street, uh, you know, big costume as usual. And um, I had a wardrobe malfunction. Uh, the heel of my shoe fell off. <laughs> now imagine, I wear heels playing mass. Just imagine there's a young man walking around in the band trying to get straps of fabric from other people's costume to tie my shoe on my foot because my carnival was not going to finish on Market Street. I would hop all the way up Market Street if that was the case. And he tied that shoe to my foot. And I jumped on that shoe all the way, crossed the stage, and then afterwards he gave me a pair of socks to put on. That's how much I love Carnival. That's how much I love Mist. That's how much I want to see Mist look good. That the big costume that most people would have seen coming up Market Street to disappear somewhere between Stephen B. Shaw wasn't going to happen. 2015, that year when they brought Benjai, I think the theme was Elevate, Look to the Skies. Yeah, I remember being in the crowd and they took off all the lights. 
so it's pitch dark and then there's a spotlight and they cue the music and I literally you know looked up slowly and it was like looking up to the heaven just saw this beautiful white and gold costume and they literally had feathers coming from the sky like who does that it's crazy though oh i keep wondering why i keep coming back i mean i've thought about quitting but you just can't mist is very addictive it gets better every year. So it's hard for me to stay away. We going on go shows. Body swap in a body swap in a body swap in a body swap. Here we go. M Y S D M Y S D M Y S D. You know, I think that was my finest hour when I actually played as Mystique. It only took me like six hours to get spray painted and it only took me like maybe two hours to get my weave put in so I could you know be the part I had to leave mass early on Monday but you know that's a sacrifice that you make when you want to be exceptional on the road you know my friends think I have a problem but I I really think they're the ones that need therapy as you said doc now that 18 years are coming I I need to I, I need to, to, to show them the way. I can't, I can't just leave. I'm turning 18 this year. I don't understand why I can't play mass with Miss this year. I, I don't get it. All the other years before, I was not old enough to play mass with the older band, so I joined the younger band, Nava, well, on the Miss Carnival, right? Nava is basically another entity of Miss Carnival. Whereas they, they're not really junior Miss, but they are sponsored by Miss. And they try to provide as close as a Miss experience to teenagers aged 13 to 17, who may have been a little too old for junior carnival and not old enough for regular carnival with Miss. Like I played, I played with Nava last year, right? And it was a great experience. I'm not gonna lie, it it was fun. It was my first time playing mass, and you know, I wasn't disappointed. 2016, we were coming down Pope's Head Street, and the guy that sang Dan Scratch and Wink Up went on the truck. I think his name is Tycho, and he had this amazing. I think he's really talented. He had this amazing song, Dan Scratch and Wink Up. As soon as I decided to play, everybody just starts to do dance, scratch and wink up. It's just that fun experience with people and strangers. And I'm just ready and I'm anxious to get that full missed experience. Like, Narvan, Miss would meet up at the same places, right? And going into JSC for the first time, seeing all these big people, amazing people, looking people, you know, like, so really nice looking girls, you know. No. Many things you can ask me that question. The how it made me, the how the girls that make me feel. But no, you see my shoes in the tie, you can't tie me up now. But, like, seeing that total strangers come eating food. Plenty food now. <laughs> you still want that whole amazing Miss experience because it's an experience that you'll never forget, but still a little anxious at getting that first time. Yeah, we go to food park. Boy, a food sell off. Miss always carries a premium bar. That cheesecake, that velvet cake. The premium drinks. Baked pie, fish. The scotch and coconut water. Pork, chicken. Premium vodka. Corn soup. Cognac. Mashed potato. My scotch and coconut water. Because the last day kind of have yum now, the belly done bang. You can't have a good scotch without a good Cuban cigar. So that I need to make the move. Trust me, in the cost me. Barber official. 
I tell you, serious thing. Like, we need to go. We need to go. I show you the pictures, show you a couple of the girls, and we pull up a couple of them Instagram profile, and then just show you what I've got. You know, that's it. Simple. I, I am easy at convincing people now. It's not even like peer pressure. It's, trust me, you can thank me later. It looks so great from the outside. It looks lit. Snapchat lit, in the street lit, miss lit, everybody lit. It's like, you get charged with arson, it's crazy. And when you see Miss Pass, you see, you see the bright colors, you see the amazing costumes. You see any and anybody just having a nice time on the road, jamming from sun up to sundown, and just having that experience. And I want to experience it for myself. I'm ready to go over into that next step. When I see them young people trying all them stunts on the road with their, you know, their selfie stick and so. And that's, you know, they have to improve their stamina if they want to be like, like us, you know. Looking forward to Miss Carnival this year. Ten years of ultimate awesomeness. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Nation. Uh. gets better. When I think can't get any better, something else is added. Second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, sixth year, seven, eight, nine. No. Ten years. I can't wait to see what miss comes with this year and I can't wait to express my creative side with whatever it is that miss brings out. I can only imagine that they're coming full extreme and I am waiting patiently. So this year I'm pretty much looking forward to an even more spectacular season, you know. Such an intense season, jamming, jamming non-stop, you know. The treasure can burn down now, then get to the jam. That kind of jamming more. Beautiful costume. Food. You can't look at the food now. No, but they can. You're probably right. There's no jinx. Miss turn 10, doesn't matter. Or the foot broken, anything happened. Me and my girl, we jamming still. Look, boss, I'm hungry right now, right, doctor? So me got to go. Oh, partner, me you know not about no therapy session now. Me just say me and you just about me see a couple of girls around the place somewhere. I even have this still here. They, they even bother trying to tell me I know it's therapy session because me not paying nothing like that. See, boo. You know, I, I don't even know why I'm here. I don't think I needed to be here. All I really need is to have my little skimpy costume get my wine on, get my drink on, and have fun on the road. I don't need this therapy session. I'm perfectly fine. I got to go. I have a problem, doctor. 
I'm here because from 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 last year and everybody keep telling my AI, my and then they said my AI, my AI, my, my, put my hand up in the my my AI. My AI. Oh, so, okay, mind your eye. My new year, I was at jam session. It came about when this guy came to me and he's like, I love you with. And he had that voice. And that voice keep in my head. He's like, when you go on the street, you say, my new year. My new year. My new year. So I was like, what? He said, my new year. My new year. Okay. What can I do to help you during this therapy session? Doc, I want you to help me in a way that you should help me to understand how to help me to understand Miss, I don't want to go insane. How long have you been with Miss? Doc, I've been with Miss since the year I, I, I did that song, Macaroni, hold me like a box of macaroni. And everybody been singing that song on the street ever since. And from the inception then, Doc, I've, I've, I've never changed Miss for anybody else. So it's like, it's like around seven, 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 seven years, doctor. What was the experience like? What were some of your greatest memories? Oh, doctor, my best memories of Miss. Ooh, ooh. The food, every year, the food. And, 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 and the fact that, um, 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 they, they give you ice pop and so forth on the street and icicle and you get bags of chips and all these stuff and box juice and I mean, oh my God, miss. How, how does your frustration make you feel? Like I'm going crazy. Like, ugh, I didn't even know what tie to wear this morning. I want to be in peace with myself. So at times I get real frustrated. I'm working, I'm walking down the road. I'm with my children here. Bye, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So every time I hear it, doctor, I have to put my hands in the air. And sometimes my shoulder hurt me. My shoulder hurt me, but doctor, if doctor, if you say my name, I'm a foot of my hand, I can't deal with that. What a psycho. I guess I created a monster within this. My life. Stop it. Stop it. Now that you've come here for therapy, what are you looking forward to most for Miss Year 10? I want it to be a movie. I want it to be Hollywood. I can only say it in one word. Intense. Miss Marseille! We ready for the run! Hey, my yay! My yay! My yay! My yay! My yay! All right, stop. Listen. Right? No, pause. Pause. You? Not too right up here, brother. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, they call me Dr. Drew, but I am not no doctor. Oh. <laughs>